sure they'll let them off. Thanks very much, Sam. Well, Bank West has announced the closure of 29 branches on the East Coast, leaving more than 200 employees facing a bleak future now. More than half the branch closes, closures are in New South Wales, with the rest in Victoria and Queensland. The company has blamed mobile banking for these cuts. Bank West is owned by the Commonwealth Bank, which has also been very busy cutting branches. ANZ has shut 93 branches, the NAB 83, and Westpac 19, promoting a shift now to mobile banking. Joining me to discuss this is financial expert from Pivot Wealth, Ben Nash. Ben, thank you for being here. Good to be here, Matt. Uh, the big four branches have all closed, uh, many, many branches, as we've heard as well. Uh, do you think this is the beginning of the end now for the traditional brick-and-mortar banking? Yeah, well, I think it's definitely a, a trend. More, more and more transactions are being done non-cash. Recent stats show, you know, over two-thirds of transactions now non-cash, and that really reduces the need for uh, the physical branches. Uh, also, we're seeing the banks under a lot of pressure, I think, with what's happening with the Royal Commission, uh, the, the bank tax, and uh, that's squeezing their margins. Online banking, clearly much easier, and that coupled with the the rise of technology and the, the ease of opening accounts is is something that's uh, causing that trend to continue. You know, I think once upon a time we had uh, the the old coffee cans for uh, for saving strategies. These days, uh, it's multiple bank accounts, and you typically don't need a, a physical branch for that as well. They're certainly facing a lot of challenges, but of course we know that the profits are still there. So the question I want to ask is, if we do see a reduction in these branches, the physical branches. Will there be some costs, some savings passed on to, to consumers? Well, clearly there will be cost savings to the banks themselves. Whether that, that's passed on to consumers or not is, is another story, I suppose. I, in my opinion, I think, of course, they should. But as I say, they are under pressure. I'm seeing this in, in all of the areas that we deal with through financial advice, financial products, the cost of administration, the cost of compliance and doing business is definitely on the rise. So uh, I'm sure the banks will be keen to hold on to as much of that profit margin as they can. I'm certain they will be. And just quickly, Ben, do you think the big four should be worried looking ahead? Yeah, I think definitely we're seeing, especially the especially the younger generation, much higher propensity to change and, and seek out better deals for all banking-related products and services. So, uh, so I think they need a strategy around that definitely. Yeah, they're going to need more than a more than a strategy. I think it's going to be tough moving forward. Ben Nash, thank you very much for your insights today, to Sam.